Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today another video with Christmas decoration. Couple of years ago I bought this large MDF Christmas tree and had no time to use it, so let's decorate it today. As always we need to sand our board first so the surface is matte and paint can stick to it better. I use 240 grading sandpaper. If we plan to use napkins, we need to cover our tree with either cream or white paint. I try to use primer on most of my work, but acrylic paint will be fine as well. My board needed two coats when using sponges. You might need to paint it three times if you use brush. When everything is dry, remove two bottom layers of your napkin and use only top one. I use brush and water to tear out section with tree trunk as I want to glue it above the angel in the middle of my tree. I also tear around the edges for better blending. On top I've decided to use rice paper with wording and this time I cut it with scissors as close to letters where I can and tear the rest. I want as little of white rice paper background as possible. When we are happy about our plan we can start gluing. For large piece of my napkin I use iron on method to avoid wrinkles. So first apply thick layer of any decoupage glue and wait for it to dry. Position your napkin on dry board and cover it with baking paper. Start ironing on medium heat. Remember to switch steam function off in your iron. When your board is cool, we can glue the rest of our napkin and rice paper. You need to apply glue under rice paper first and then on top of it, starting from the center, working your way towards the edge. Because napkin is really thin, we can glue it only from the top. When everything is dry, remove excess napkin with sharp knife or sandpaper. Now the hardest part, blending. Mixture of green, cream, brown and grey and handful of sponges and here we go. It will be easier to start from lighter color and add darker gradually. Also, less paint on your sponge makes it easier.
When everything is dry, we seal our work with varnish. Golden rule is to apply two or three coats of acrylic varnish, wait for it to dry and use fine sandpaper to smooth any imperfections. You need sandpaper with grading no lower than 600. After sanding, we apply two or three coats of varnish, we dry it and sand it again. We repeat the steps as many times as needed. You can finish at this point if you want to, or you can follow me and add snow paste. Snow paste doesn't need any varnishing, that's why we apply it on varnished surfaces. On top of still wet snow, sprinkle some white glitter and wait for everything to dry. Remove excess glitter with soft brush once snow paste is dry. As always, all the supplies are linked under the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.